you know. <coughs> I've been trying to take it easy. Give myself a break from social media as much as as possible in these days. Um, but I've been reading my Technahan again, in particular living Buddha, living Christ, and he reminds me that I'm both a disciple of Jesus and of Plum Village. You know, I can't help but speak out about the Matthew Perry situation because the ketamine queen, Queen Sangha, I went to a Plum Village Sangha in the basement of the Church of Gethsemane in Brooklyn all the way back in the day with Tanya and Susan. And thinking about interbeing as a bodhisattva and a Christian and a Jew and a Muslim, the Palestinians are the bodhisattvas too. The Palestinians are the most passive people when you think about it, the most peaceful people when you think about it. They didn't stop Hamas from taking over. They're a captured electorate, a captured audience, a captured market, a captured people, they're captive. And just like the Buddhists of Vietnam put their actual bodies on the line to stop colonialism, Palestinians continue to put their bodies on the line to stop colonialism. I'm so glad that the Democratic National Convention is starting. Not because I care about the Democratic Party, although in the annals of the history, the Democratic Party is certainly better than the Republican Party in this country, pound for pound, that is most definitely true. The point is that we always have to think contrapuntally. This is the point of Edward Said. Thank you, Christina Sharp, for seeing me so clearly. Thank you to Robert Reed Farr. Thank you to Chrissy Persico. Thank you to Scott Cohen. Thank you to Team Interview. Thank you to Rihanna. Thank you to Madonna. Thank you to Sadia. Thank you to Sadia. Thank you to Nate Silver. Sarah Silverman. This era in American politics is over. Thank God. You know, I gotta get out of here already. I only got five minutes. As I always like to remind people, I was in the audience when Barack accepted the nomination in 2008. That was... Ay, ay, ay. 16 years ago. My, what's happened in 16 years, I had no idea that literally one door closes and another one opens. We're literally in the next stage of history. I feel that, people. 
Okay, did you hear what I just said about interbeing? I feel things really strongly. I have big feelings. Hey, everybody, guess what? Big feelings are okay. As long as you know how to channel them. You know, the other day, a child, very talented, burst into tears because I took a laptop away from them in which they were playing a video game. Now, I knew this was going to happen sooner or later, that they were not going to like me because I was going to take the computer away, but I was both the adult and the teacher in the room, also the friend, because friends don't let friends drink and drive, right? Friends do not let friends burn holes in their brains by staring at a computer screen for days on end, right? Plus there's more to life than games, although we love games. Thank you again, Christina Sharp. Yeah, gates, access, right? Here's the real tea, people. Stories were planted for me in the New York Times. I've always known it, and I just verified it. 2019, baby. Ruth Wilson Gilmore, Portugal. And a couple months later, Madonna at 60 by Vanessa Gregoriadis. Hello, uh, old face. Exactly. I knew it. And when I got the fucking Air Portugal. Thank you. And of course, all the Portuguese just know. And Madonna's show. That's what I'm saying, people. We are past the pandemic. Okay. We are past the pandemic. And I feel fully seen. Now that I'm seeing Taylor Lorenzo's work, now that I'm seeing Nate Silver's work, right, Alex's work, this is what I'm seeing, people. Right? This is what I'm seeing. Right? Ashna's work. This is what I'm seeing. This makes sense to me. Right? The people that I work with, their views of the world make sense to me. And that's like one of the projects, you know, my housemate, Emmy said the other day, it's image training, people, image training. Why do you think I title these videos IMG? These are images, first and foremost. I mean, read this image. You know, as my friend Maria said the other day on the Assumption of Mary, actually it was the day after the Assumption of Mary, I wanna be precise and accurate. She said, well, I don't remember what she said. The point is, is her name is Maria. And here's what she said. It comes back, my friends, if you just give it time. Sometimes you lose the thread. It always comes back. It's like a game of tennis. My friend Maria, note the name. It said words are all around us. And they are all around us, but so are numbers. If you know how to look for them, right? I grew up in a numbers family. I grew up in a gambling clan. I just channeled my sensation-seeking and risk-taking. 
through live performance, motherfuckers. And I was just sniffed and sniffed and sniffed by a very sexy black man. The Starbucks just now. Oh, I'll remember him, my friends. Maybe he'll go to the Eagle with me. I just gotta get my prep again. I'm taking a pill and I'm not even having sex. Why? Because I have to finish writing this piece. And then I can see Arthur again. Ugh, God damn it. I do like pain. My friend Brian at Bloomingdale was like, you like pain? I was like, I do like pain. Hi, take care of my friend. It's my neighbor leaving right on cue. Suburban, I don't tell you that much. And neither are the people who live there, even though it sometimes looks like suburban. Oh, okay. This may, I'm gonna post this tape. I don't care anymore, people. This is my life. Barack Obama put golden on his summer playlist, okay? Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Oh, we gotta put that. We gotta put that on the track list. Living my life like it's golden. Thinking about living my life like it's golden. I'm gonna get a Minecraft watch and an account. Ciao for now.